Hey everyone, what's up? My name is Marker Hello and welcome to my first video. Today we're gonna make a miniature all about Team Sports Games Court. So I decided to create a miniature of a basketball court. So folks, are you ready? Okay, let's start. The materials needed are pencil, ruler, glue sticks, glue gun, cutter, scissor, coloring, coloring materials like watercolor, color pencil, or you can use any kind of coloring materials. Then we have cardboard, illustration board, then staple wire. I will demonstrate how it will be used later. First step is draw and lay out of your miniature by using ruler, pencil, then illustration board. Our layout so the next step is putting on color using watercolor and brush After we done making the court, uh, as is we make um, court covered. Make it. We make it covered. It's something like this. Putting staple wire here and 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 here. Here and here, then we add the upper side, then we're gonna cover it using this. 
uh, using cardio okay okay here you go after putting the skeletal structure of our roof then it look, look like this then next is we're gonna use this cardboard to the roof we're gonna pull it like this then cut it later the very last step is I'm going to paint the roof then here in the painted mall so this is the final stage in our output The roofs. Basketball is a team sport. Two teams of five players each try to score by shooting the ball through a hoop elevated 10 feet above the ground. The game is played on a rectangular floor called the court, and there is a hoop at each end. The court is divided into main sections by the mid court line. If the offensive team puts the ball into play behind mid court lines, it has 10 seconds to get their ball over the mid-court line. If it doesn't, then the defense get the ball. Once the offensive teams get the ball over the mid-court line, it can no longer have possession or the ball in the area behind the mid-court line. If it does, the defensive is awarded, awarded the ball. As you can see, the basketball court, the baseline, wing lane k or paint three point arc mid court line side line top of the k circle free throw line and the corner points when a team makes a basket they score two points and the ball goes to the other team if a basket or field goals is made outside of the three points arc then the basket is worth free throws three free throws a free throw is worth one point free throws are awarded to the team according to some formats involving the number of fouls committed in a half and or the type of fouls committed fouling a shooter always result in two or three free throws 
being awarded the shooter depending upon where he was when he shot. If he has beyond the three points line, then he gets three shot. Other types of foul does not result in free throws. Game clock. Each game is divided into sections. And all levels have two halves. In college, each half is 20 minutes long. In high school and below, the halves are divided into eight and sometimes six minutes quarter. Their gap is of several minutes between halves. Gaps between quarters are relatively short. If the score is tied at the end of regulation, then overtime period will bracelet are played until the winner emerge. Basket assignment and tip off. Also, each team is assigned a basket or goal to defend. This means that the other basket is their scoring basket. At halftime, the team switch goals. The game begins with one player from either team at center court. A referee will toss the ball up between the two. The player that gets his hands on the ball will tip it to a teammate. This is called a tip off. Fouls and violation. In addition to stealing the ball from the opposing player, there are other ways for a team to get the ball. One such way is if the other team commit a foul or violation. Fouls. Personal fouls include any type of illegal physical contact like hitting, pushing, slapping, holding, even if illegal pick or screen. Personal fouls penalty. If a player is shooting while being fouled, then he gets two free throws and his shot doesn't go in, but only one free throw throw if his shot go in. Three free throws are awarded if the player is fouled while shooting for the three-point goal and they miss their shot. If a play player would foul while shooting a three-point shot and makes it anyway, he is awarded one free throw, thus he could score four points on the play. Inbound If fouled while not shooting, the ball is given to the team the foul was committed upon. They get the ball on the nearest side or baseline out of bounds and have five seconds to pass the ball onto the court. One and one. If the team committed the foul has seven or more fouls in the game, then the player who has fouled is awarded one free throw. If he makes his free throw shot, then he is awarded another free throw. Ten or more fouls. If the team committing the foul has 10 or more fouls, then the fouls player receives 2 free throws. Charging An offensive foul that is committed when a player push or runs over a defensive player. The ball is given to the team that the foul was committed upon. Blocking Blocking is illegal personal contact resulting from defender not to establish position in time to prevent an opponent's drive to the basket. Flagrant foul. Violent contact with a, an opponent. This includes hitting, kicking, punching. This type of fouls result in free throws plus the offensive retaining position of the ball after the free throw. Intentional foul. When a player makes physical contact with another player with no reasonable effort to steal a ball, it is judgment call for the official. Technical foul. Technical foul a pair or a coach can commit commit this type of foul. It does not involve player contact or ball, but it instead about the manners of the game. Violation. Walking or traveling. Taking more than a step and a half without dribbling the ball is traveling. Moving your B boat foot once you stop dribbling is traveling carrying palm or palming when a player drives the ball with his hand too far to the other to the side or sometimes even under the ball double dribble the ball with both hands on the hand both hands on the ball 
at the same time or picking up the dribble and then dribbling again is a double dribble held ball occasionally two or more of opposing players will gain possession position of the ball at the same time in order to avoid prolonged and or violent tussle the referee stop the action awarded the ball to one team or the other on a rotating basis goal tending if the defender player is interference with a shot while it's on the way down toward the basket backcourt violation once the offense has brought the ball across the mid court line they cannot go back across the line during the possession time restriction a player passing the ball in bound has 5 seconds to pass the ball if he does not then the ball is awarded to other team other time restriction include the rule that a player cannot have the ball for more than 5 seconds when being closely guarded and some states and level shot clock restriction required a team to attempt a shot within a give, given time frame player position center are generally your tallest player their general are position near the basket offensive the center goals is to get open for a pass and to shoot they are also responsible for blocking defenders knowing up a speaking or screening to open the other player up the driving to the basket for a goal center are expected to get some offensive rebounds and put back defensive on defense the center's main responsibility is to keep opponent from shooting by blocking shots and passes in the area k they also expected to get a lot of rebounds because they are taller forward your next tallest player will most likely be your forward while a forward may be called upon to play under the hoop they may also be required to operate in the wings and corner areas in offensive forwards are responsible to get free for fast take out the shots drives for a goal and rebound in defensive responsible responsibilities includes preventing drives to the goal and rebounding guard These are potentially your shortest player and they should be really good at dribbling fast seeing the court and passing it is their job to bring the ball down the court and set up offensive plays offensive dribbling and passing and setting up offensive plays are a guard's main responsibility they also needs to be able to drive to the basket and to shoot from the perimeter in defensive on defense a guard is responsible for stealing passes contesting shots preventing drives to the hoop and for boxing out here is the area of the basketball court in NBA FIBA WNBA NCAA men NCAA women in court length in nba it has 94 feet in fiba 91.86 feet in in wnba and ncaa men and women are the same as nba court width in nba 50 feet fiba 49.21 feet and WNBA and C and CAA same as NBA rim height in NBA 10 feet high and the rest are the same in NBA no charge zone arc in NBA it have 4 feet in FIBA 4.10 10 feet and WNBA NCA same as NBA center circle diameter in NBA 12 feet and FIBA 11.81 feet and WNBA and NCAA are same as NBA three point line distance from the basket in NBA 23.75 feet 22 
feet in corner while in FIBA 22.15 feet and 21.65 feet in corner in WNBA main arc same as FIBA corner same as NBA and for NCAA same as FIBA case shades one or restricted area with NBA 16 feet FIBA 16.08 feet uh, WNBA are the same as NBA and uh, NCAA are 12 feet then NCAA women are the same as NCAA men free throw line distance from the point on the floor directly below the backcourt in NBA 15 feet in FIBA 15.09 feet and for WNBA and NCAA are the same as NBA okay folks thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed my short video presentation then don't forget to hit the thumbs up subscribe and follow my Facebook page See you now.